Good day, everyone. This is uh, Chris with The Ancient Scholar, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, uh, fill you guys in on some uh, really big, uh, pretty profound changes uh, occurring. This is certainly going to affect you if you are looking at going into respiratory therapy in the next couple of years. Uh, if you're looking at going to school, particularly what this is going to affect are the... Um, entry-level examinations that you need to take to become a, re a respiratory therapist, uh, either a CRT, Certified Respiratory Therapist, or an RRT, a Registered Respiratory Therapist. Uh, this will affect the national examinations. These examinations are uh, have been developed and are produced by the NBRC, or National Board of Respiratory Care. And uh, I'd like to uh, personally thank uh, Mrs. Virginia Durant. She's the director of the Respiratory Therapy Program at uh, Doniana Community College slash uh, in New Mexico State University in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, this information has come directly from her. She, here in New Mexico, there is a conference going on in Santa Fe over this weekend. And uh, they have kind of officially, uh, officially came out and have, have talked a little bit about the transition process. Um, it is also posted. Uh, there is a little blurb that has been posted on the uh, website, the NBRC website under examinations, uh, the news section. Uh, so basically what, what's going on is, is the traditional exam process to become a registered respiratory therapist included in taking three different examinations. You took what was known as the CRT written exam. It's a certified respiratory therapist written registry. And it is a fairly traditional computer-based test um, where you take, um, you know, 100 plus questions, I think it's 160, 180 questions, um, A, B, C, D answers, choose your answer, you pass or you fail, uh, depending on whatever, what, what the cut score is. Um, and I've talked about those exams in other videos. Uh, if you pass that exam, you can go on to take the uh, written registry. It's a 110 question exam uh, for uh, the registered respiratory therapist. And then if you pass that exam, you go on to take the um, clinical simulation or CSE examination. Um, that's the exam you take. The, the, generally, that's the final exam you take. And if you pass all three exams, uh, you, be, you can become registered as a respi uh, registered respiratory therapist, assuming that you graduated from accredited uh, program and have the appropriate degree. Uh, the new exam process is uh, kind of cutting, is kind of uh, streamlining the process. There are only going to be two examinations as of 2015. Uh, we'll transition into the new process of uh, taking examinations. As of 2015, there'll be two examinations. The first exam will be a written uh, computer-based examination, like we're, we're very familiar with taking. Um, However, the difference is there will be two different scores that you can obtain on this examination, what we call cut scores. There is a lower score called the CRT cut score and a higher score called the RRT cut score. If you only make the lower score, you become registered as a CRT and that's that. However, if you can make it up to the RRT cut score, you are able then to go on and take the clinical simulations and become registered as a respiratory therapist. There will no longer be that second exam that you have to take, the registered, uh, the written registry exam. That's been cut out. It's you take everybody takes the same exam. If you get the low cut score, you can become registered as a CRT or take the exam over again. If you get the high score, then you can transition on to the uh, written registry or the RRT exam or the the clinical simulation exam, excuse me. Okay, so just to recap, there will be only, there are only going to be two examinations instead of three. The first exam has two cut scores. You have to um, get to the higher cut score, the RRT cut score, to go on to take the clinical simulation examinations, the CSEs. Uh, from what I understand, there have been some significant changes to the uh, CSE exam. Um, traditionally, you take 10 clinical simulations, um, the clinical simulations are fairly extensive and long, and generally uh, I think they give you about four hours to do ten different scenarios. So it's a very long, potentially a very long, drawn-out process. From what I understand, there are going to be multiple, many more than ten, uh, clinical situations that you're going to be put in. However, the situations are going to be stripped down, they're going to be shorter situations, and um, the, the process is, sounds like it's going to be a little different. 
Um, that's all the information I have right now, guys. And uh, as I, I get more information, I'll, I'll update in subsequent videos. Hopefully, you guys found this helpful. And uh, we'll see how things go as we near uh, the 2015 threshold for transition um, to the new entry-level examinations for the respiratory therapist. As always, thanks for hanging in there.